you find the defendant, Frank John Foster, guilty or not guilty of the rape of Carla Connor? Not guilty. Oh! 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 They've got it wrong. He raped her! He raped her! I mean, how can you all just sit there? Quiet! Please, Peter, I just want to go. Please, please, please. May my client be discharged, Your Honour? He may. Mr Foster, you are discharged. You tricked me. Mm. When it comes to being devious, I learnt from the master. The minute my back was turned, you got some dodgy builder. Hey! Oh, cashing in on the misery of others. As a neutral, I think this is a good solution. Hmm. Think of it as a kind of Berlin stud war. Ah, oh, it's coming down, if that's what you mean. Uh, I have asked you to move out and you wouldn't. Our marriage is over. I'm not prepared to put up with it for one more day. Oh. Air our dirty laundry in public, why don't you? Oh, glad you mentioned that, actually. The yard is communal, obviously. Oh, and what about a kitchen? I've got a child to feed. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. We might have to convert one of the bedrooms. <laughs> in fact, I am willing to get you the one kitchen appliance I have actually seen you use. Oh, and what is that? A microwave. So Amy has to sit eating ready meals off an E every night? I'll change that, then. <gasps> Hang on a minute. Hey, hey, you OK? Right. You know what? After everything I've been through, I kept telling myself, it'll be worth it, you'll get justice. And look at me, I'm scuttling out of it like I'm the guilty party. No, no, don't say that. Hey, please don't ever say that, OK? It's what the jury think. It's what everybody will think. You should demand a retrial. What? Well, you've got ground. The stunt he pulled with the photographs. It proved we were liars, cos we are liars, Peter. Only we just stayed away from each other. Look, don't. If this is anybody's fault, this is my fault, OK? This is not your fault. I'm sorry we didn't get a conviction. Thanks. Can we, uh, Can we ask for a retrial? I really don't think the CPS will be keen to pursue this any further, and I don't think we'd have a hope in hell if they did. OK, but another barrister might see this differently. When I was instructed, I was very confident of securing a conviction. It was the lying that cost us the case. Our relationship wasn't relevant. We weren't seeing each other then. A guilty man walked free. It's hard enough for rape victims to come forward. I know I am one. OK, all right. Thanks. Even the lawyer's against me. Thank you so much. You were brilliant. I was always confident. But rape's a serious crime and an emotive subject. It's impossible to predict how the jury will interpret the evidence. Well, it was obvious from the very first morning you should never have been put through all this. Quite. Well, I couldn't have got through this without you, Sal. Or you, Mum, or you, Alicia. You've all been brilliant. Now that we've had this verdict, can we take action against Carla? No. No way. Forget it. But, my darling, you were wrong. But I've been vindicated and I can walk out of here a free man. Don't let me stop you. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Don't know. Well, he escaped justice again, didn't he? I don't know how he does it. Are you ringing? Kirky, ask me to text him when we've got a verdict. A free man. Why don't you go and crawl back under your rock, Frank? No, I'm not crawling anywhere, Peter. I'm walking out of here with my head held high. Ed, don't be... I've been vindicated, you see, whereas you have been exposed as a malicious liar. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go for a little walk, savour my freedom. Mum? Sally? Shall we? Any news? I'm heard out. Oh, Carla's going to be going through hell. Well, she's got a new boyfriend to hold her hand. Do you think it's wrong? Well, I feel sorry for poor Leanne. She's lost everything. Well, you can't choose who you fall in love with. Bag of water crisps, five quid exactly. Keep the change. Oh, cheers, kid. Oh. Maria. And? Not guilty. Don't believe it. Did you hear that? He got off? Yeah. Oh, it's hardly a surprise when you read the statistics. Yeah, well, there's hardly any witnesses, you know. That's why it's hard to get a guilty verdict. That's one of the reasons. Has Frank Foster got off? Yeah, Maria's just texted Kurt. I have to say, I just do not believe that Carla would invent a rape accusation. The jury deserves a pat on the back for seeing through her and Peter Barlow's lies. And if she comes anywhere near this pub, I want to know about it. Oh, it is an awful crime, but... I can't believe that Frank is capable of it. The jury agrees. End of. I earn a lot of money, but I work hard. 
all models in Jonathan. Who are you talking to, babe? Jonathan Ross. Hey. Well, babe, when I get bored, I like to pretend that I'm being interviewed on the telly. Anyway, where did you get your petrol from? Abby Dabby. I'll be done in a jiffy. You go back to Jonathan. Well, yeah, anyway. Are you in? Steve! Yes! It's very flimsy, this wall, you know. Easy to knock down. What, you're off in your puff? No change there, then. You know what? At times like this, I wish your mum and dad were still around. Especially Liz. Why? Because she'd tell you how stupid you are. Look, do you mind? I'm trying to have a quiet night in. All on my own. Buy me lonesome. Oh, so Amy's not welcome your side of the house, is she? Of course she is. She can come and go as she pleases. Come and go? What, you're putting a cat flap in? And you're explaining this to her, not me. She'll love us being under the same roof. We were under the same roof. <laughs> Tracy? Yeah? Go upstairs now! I never thought I'd say them words again. I'm just saying rapists do walk free. And I'm just saying that there are some women who make up accusations. Do you know anybody who would do that? Exactly. You know, Carla could be telling the truth. It's just that the jury went absolutely certain. Well, she's lied about the car crash. She could lie about anything. Just don't want you wading in. <sighs> OK, even if she didn't lie about the rape, we know for a fact she lied about the accident. Yeah, I know, Stella, but it's all very murky. <sighs> Clara and Maria must be gutted. Uh, if the jury has said that, then you've got to accept it. There's nothing to say. It's OK, I'm not stopping. I just came to tell my employees the good news. Yeah, we heard, um, we got off. Kurt got a text. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, that Carla Connors is not your cow. You're best off without her. Nice one, Beth. You will stop for a drink, won't you? Mine's double vodka. Yeah, why not? Let's have a drink, Mum. Sal, what do you want? Yeah, a uh, white wine, Carl, please. Have a tomato juice. No, no, a vodka and oh, well, tomato juice. Oh, well, in that juice. case, I'm going to have a scotch. <laughs> right. You must be relieved. Yeah, I am. It's, um, it's been an ordeal, hasn't it? The cross-examination isn't over yet, I'm afraid. Really? Not now, Stella. He's just come from court. He'll be back in there if the police knew what I know. Can I have a word? In private. What's this about, Stella? The car crash. You weren't driving, were you? No. Why did you lie? To save Carla's skin. I'd have done anything for her. She knew that. She played on it. She was drunk. Yeah, I know. And I could have gone down for it. And all the time, behind my back, she and Peter Barlow were plotting my demise. And I nearly leathered you. You know, that's nothing compared to what I am going to do when I see Carla. No, you're not. I'll do it for Leanne. You will not. I'm still truly sorry for my part in this mess. I had no idea what I was dealing with. Still, she couldn't fool the courts, eh? And joining us tonight is former road safety campaigner, Rose Webster. Uh -huh. She is now a catwalk model, yeah. slash fashion designer, slash pop star. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And her boyfriend, Jason Grimshaw, mm -hmm. He's a painter slash decorator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe, wouldn't it be great if we were rich and famous? Well, I believe you'll get there. I believe it 1,000%. I really want it. I really want you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, babe, should we get back? In a bit. Uh, we're moving. What have you done? Uh, don't blame me. Rosie, I'm rich. Woo! Ah! Now what? Look, can me and Amy just have a couple of plates to eat our kebabs off? You come all the way downstairs and all the way around the back for a couple of plates. Well, what am I supposed to do, Steve? Climb down the chimney? Text! Shout! You know, it doesn't take a psychologist to work out what's going on here. Yeah, I ate you and you won't move out. You are doing what all men do when they're faced with a problem. 
you're putting a wall up. Oh, yeah, I like it. Very good. Oh, knock that thing down. We can sit down and talk about our problems like grown-ups. No, no way. This is my house now. Right, you know what, then? If you want to be awkward, two can play that game. Say hello to the neighbour from hell. Owen will kill me when he sees this. Babe, I'm in shock. I think he might have whiplash. Rosie, we were going two miles an hour. What's happened here, then? Uh, we, uh, I left the handbrake off and we rolled down the hill. Well, according to the driver whose vehicle you collided with, you and the young lady here were otherwise engaged. Uh, no way! Yeah, it was an accident. I'm afraid I'm going to issue a fixed penalty. You'll be fined £60 with three points on your licence. Hey? Excuse me, officer, but I am passionate about road safety. I am the star of the council's campaign. Don't worry, Dad, we're not moving back in. Why should we have to kiss? One night. Just Amy, please. Steve has completely lost his mind. We're living upstairs. There's no kitchen. Oh, lovely. Here you go. Have some Do of this. Do I detect an elaborate tale designed to tug on our heartstrings? No, she's right. He's split the house in two. Oh, Is he allowed to do that? It's the brashness. The contempt for the English language, which I can't abide. Oh, he means well. Now, if I was to, if I was to visit him in his home in America, I, I wouldn't tell him how to run his life. But I'm off to the cash and carry. Where I come from, someone tells you a good idea, you bite their hands off. It is not worth bothering, and I speak from bitter experience. Oh. Well, when I tried to drag this place into the 21st century and maximise profits, it was frowned on. Charging people for sachets of sugar does not make you Richard Branson. Well, it depends on how many sachets you sell. Where have you been all my life? Palm Springs. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, Roy doesn't have the killer instincts. Well, at least not in business. His customers are his friends. He's not interested in making lots of money. Which is why he has never made any money. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes, I see. Yes, it's the pride thing. Uh, he can't afford to expand the place. In a nutshell. I see. I'll come and see Amy before I go to work. Tough. She's not here. Why, where is she? It's not fit for purpose up there, Steve. I've taken her to my mum's. Oh. She can't understand why we don't have a kitchen. I'll bring a microwave round tomorrow. You know what? This isn't fair. You can punish me, but don't punish Amy. I'm not punishing anyone. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, you need planning permission before you turn an house into flats. Who says? The country's foremost expert on everything. Flipping can! We are going to ring the council first thing Monday. At least one good thing came out of this, eh? We don't have to sneak around anymore. Mm. All right. Give yourself. Gonna be public enemy number one around here for some people. Well, I think you'll find, actually, I'm public enemy number one in Coronation Street. Oh, I've caused you so much grief. No, no, it's fine. They'll get used to it, you know, once they realise that we're not flashing the pan. In fact, why don't you come in with me now? Come on. It's a bit soon to meet the in-laws. Oh, they'll be pleased to see you. Yeah, OK. Yeah. So, I wowed him with a PowerPoint presentation about the link between diet and learning. Really? Made up mostly, but the gist was right. Then I hit them with my Healthy Eating Initiative, or HEI as it's now known. Oh, that's very impressive. Oh, talk about smooth talk. I was like Barack Obama. I even had Meredith eating out of my own. <laughs> but on healthy food, though. Oh, very good. <laughs> but she said it was just the sort of thing she was very keen to get behind. Does she fancy you? No. Are you sure? Yes, anyway, I don't fancy her. How old is she? Can I just have a moment here, please? Of course. Anyway, the letters to parents went out tonight detailing the do's and don'ts of compiling an NBL. NBL? Nutritionally balanced lunchbox. <laughs> sure to stir up controversy, but uh, Gandhi and Mandela weren't afraid of breaking free range eggs. <laughs> Doesn't matter what Frank says, it's ancient history, dead and buried. Dead and buried? I'm the one that could have been killed by a drunk driver. Well, all I'm saying is you hear stuff from Leanne, you hear stuff from Frank, and before you know it. I'm getting to the truth. You wanted to know if anybody saw Carla? Yeah, she's outside. Right. I'll go and sort some posts in the office. Okay, give us half an hour. I'll call you. Well, if 
if it isn't my least two favourite people. Yeah, all right, Stella. Listen, Carl has had a very rough day, OK, so... Great day for British justice, though. An innocent man walks free. Frank Foster is not innocent. How could you lie about something like that? Oh, you didn't expect it to be on our side. Oh, our side. So we are officially a team now, are we? I mean, yes, I had right, the rumours. we are. But I promise you, Stella, OK, that is a very recent development. Oh, swear on oath. He did that before and nobody believed you. Look, if there was any justice, Frank Foster would be behind bars. You are pathetic liars. You will say and do anything to get what you want. You can want. be as angry with me as you like, OK? But she was raped by that monster. And you are the only monster around here. You have destroyed Leanne's life and you've driven her away. Yes, I know I did, and I'm sorry about that, OK? But Carla needs me. Oh, I need Leanne, but she's gone. No, you've not lost her. She'll be You're back. not even ashamed, are you? Yes, I am sorry that we've hurt her. But I didn't lie about the rape. Oh, yeah. I'm being unreasonable. I mean, who am I to judge? Why don't you come and have a drink here? Oh. No, go on. One for the road. I knew he was an old soak, but you're a lethal flaming weapon. OK, I'll get it. Listen, what I did was awful. It was a terrible thing. But, Stella, I would have gone to prison. Best place for you. In fact, I might ring the police myself. Folk asleep sleep a lot easier in the beds without you on the loose, cooking up your evil plans. Yeah, all right, Stella. That's it. You've said enough. That's enough. I'll tell you what. Liam might be gutted, but you two deserve it. Where the hell have you been? And what's happened to my van? Only a couple of dents, boss. Still not that in a few minutes. I'll knock you out. A dent. Headlights. Bumper hanging off. My premium sky as it is. Well, it's not my fault. There's a load of maniacs on the road, isn't Where there? Where did it happen? Hey, the Come 56 Some nuts have pulled down me, yeah. Oh, my God, Jason. The press have got hold of the story. What story? Us, the crash. A reporter called Ed Bowen, Frank from the Gazette, said they wanted to run a story on the Randy Road safety model who caused a near pile-up. Near pile-up? I scraped his bumper. Well, they asked if I wanted to comment. Well, I hope you said no. Well, I said they should speak to my agent, but if the photos are going to be syndicated, I'll want to cut. Photos? You should have just denied it. Well, at first I was ashamed, but then I thought of the exposure. The Gazette goes into 70,000 homes. Yeah, and if one of them goes to Owens, I'm for the eye jump. Look, Rosie, he will know I was lying about where I was. Yeah, but you won't care. You'll have a profile. The offers will come flooding in. Offers? Magazines, TV. What, for crashing the van? Jace, I'm a celeb. Everything I do is news. <sighs> OK, you'll go, Amy. You put, the, put those down. Yeah. Great. Good, good. Where's Si? Um, he's uh, in our room playing on his DS. My go. Right. How's he doing? So-so. Only, listen, I've, uh, I've got a massive favour to ask you. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, we guessed you'd want us to have him. In fact, we're expecting to see a lot more of him now that you've got a new floozy in tow. Deirdre. Oh. Listen, Dane, could you go up and see how Simon is? I'm only stating the facts. I mean, they're like buses to Peter, aren't they? There'll be another one along in a minute. Did you? Whatever happens, I will always put that kid first. Yeah, well, put him first tonight. Stay here, comfort him, console him, explain to him where his mum is. Carla needs me. You know that scumbag got off today, don't you? Yeah, we had heard. She's in bits. I mean, as you can imagine. Yeah. Look, you can hate me as much as you want for what I've done to Leanne, right? But I'm with Carla now. It's not an affair. I know I've made a mess of everything, but I'm trying my best to put things right, OK? Well, we've already got Amy for the night. Fine. But I suppose they get on well together. Thank you. I promise I won't make a habit of it. You know, I wanted Carla to come in with me tonight. But she was worried about the reception that she'd get. Yeah, well, we're hardly going to roll the red carpet out, are we? We're very fond of Leanne. Uh, we were just saying we had hoped you might still work out your differences. No. This is the way it is. He's upstairs, you say. Oi, pack him! I want a word with you. I do wish we didn't live near so many kids from the school. Just ignore him. The letter you sent my Max home with. You having a dig? Can't this wait till Monday? Mm, no. The deteriorating diet of our pupils should be a matter of concern to all parents. I decide what my little boy eats. Kebab, if I'm not mistaken. On a Friday night is a treat. Anyway, it's got salad in it. 
I can't control what you feed Max when he's home, but when he comes to school, the contents of his lunchbox must comply with HEI guidelines. You are Healthy eating initiative. I am going to fight this all the way. I'll go over you already if necessary. I think you'll find it has the backing of the highest authority. Peter. Nope, not Peter. It's the other man in your life. What the hell do you want? Oh, I just came to gloat. Get out. Gloat and get a little bit of closure. Will you now admit that you were seeing lover boy all along? I don't have to answer that. Come on, Carla. We're not in court now. Just admit it, you homewrecker. No. I was not seeing Peter when I broke up with you, when you raped me. Ah, ah, ah. If you keep making these false allegations, I may have to take some action. Actually, I'm cool with it. Yeah, we're both grown ups. So I think we should move on. You're unbelievable. But I won't keep out of your way, Carla. I won't avoid you. After all, I've done nothing wrong, have I? Get out of my factory. Why don't we shake on it? Hmm? No? Okay. Have it your way. tell you something if you witness what they did and you don't do anything about it you're guilty too you understand that don't you Danny law and order UK is next tonight